This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, um, before I go to you, my man, yeah. right? you, you said he ain't speaking, right? No, you've got to say something. we got my guy Dapo, right? You would have seen him when we was over in Nigeria, the man who put it all together. Good to see you here, man. Good to see Did you, you again. Yeah, 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 it was all right. It was all right. <laughs> bit of an climax. Bit of sweet, bit of sweet. Bit, bit of sweet. sweet, yeah. You know, I was one eye on the Tottenham Norwich game. And you didn't have, think that Norwich could get anything. I didn't think, but you know, anything can happen. It's football, you know. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah. But yeah, um, good game. Good for the fans to see, you know, um, such a win. We needed this kind of performance against uh, Newcastle, um, mm. against Crystal Palace, against. I mean, so many teams. We mm. actually dropped the ball this season, um, but it's encouraging seeing them play today. Seeing um, Saka. And I hope Tavares doesn't come back next season. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, good, good, good game, good game. Good game. Did you, you know, when you look on it today, does it sort of add to the disappointment? You know, this team on a day they can play some really good football, but maybe we just left, our, left ourselves a little bit short this season. Yeah, man, I think it all starts down from um, January, you know, we should have done better in January. If you had done better in January, this, these are the kind of games that we could have been turning over, like Newcastle, there's not, not enough depth. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, we've got the youngest team here and we're leaving all the responsibility on the younger kids. Like, it's too much, you know what I'm saying? We need to pull up our socks. Mm. But that starts from the top all the way down. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, well, man. it's going to, listen, it, I'm sure their mind's going to be on that right now. We go into the summer, transfer window opens, you can buy, sell players. What do you think we need going into the summer to be able to start challenging? Me personally, I feel like we need like eight players. Mm -hmm. We need like two midfielders, we need two strikers, and I think we need another left winger. I will say going for Zaha again, and mm. because he's proven in the Premier League, we just need someone that's more direct. Martinelli's good in that, but the end product just ain't there sometimes when he gets in the final third, you know what I'm saying? When he beats his man, then he loses his head. We need a, we need a winger that's going to go down and just get straight down to business. I will say get medicine as well. Mm. Get medicine. So eight players, you think? Yeah, definitely eight players. Mm. What, what about you, Tapo? Honestly, I would dump the whole squad. But, um, <laughs> you know, we need, we haven't had us, you know, like Tottenham has got Harry Kane. Like, you know, uh, we need, we need, that striker, we need a world-class striker. We used to have that back in the day. We have, we, we've been missing that for time, you know, mm. for maybe about six years. We need someone that, you know, every defender is scared of. Mm. Henri was that guy for us. You know, we need that kind of that kind of striker. We need a strong midfielder. We need a strong midfield. We have a good goalkeeper. I don't know, he's been twitching lately. I don't know what's happening, but, you know, he's a good goalkeeper, Ramsdale. We just mm. need, uh, I think, a, a fantastic striker because right. we we and we need a Kazula type of player as well, someone that could create opportunities. We 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 lack creativity, you know, at the top part, you know, of the game. And you know, this is not Arsenal, man. You know, we need we need creativity. Mm. What would you give a season out of ten? I'll give it a seven. Okay. I give it a seven. I feel like we set the we set the bar so high, expecting so much, and then we just crumbled. So it just, just that's that's the little things that we're missing, man. We just need that like seven. My man said seven and a half. I'll give it a seven personally. I feel like it, it could have been better, man. Like, it was kind of piss poor for me. All right, Dapo, what do you give it? I mean, at the beginning of the season, before the first game, I was hoping for a top four. But after the Brentford game, you know, first three games, I mean, it looked like we were going to have an Everton type of season. Um, so, for them to bounce back from that, I'll give it a 7.5. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.